My name is Ali Gureli. I'm the founder and chairman of Contemporary Istanbul, the art fair taking place in Istanbul since 10 years. This is our 10th anniversary. Uh, I'm a graduate of Middle East Technical University. I've studied business management. And then I have, I'm also active in different fields of business, tourism industry, real estate industry. But since maybe, I guess, 14 years, I'm active in the fair organizations and I'm also a collector of art since more than 20 years. Basically, this is Ali Gureli. Uh, this, is, this is something we have started planning since the day we decided to organize Contemporary Istanbul. First of all, uh, is the, we are taking place in Istanbul and Istanbul is a unique city other than the fair. And, and, and plus Contemporary Istanbul have decided and doing and also also implementing to host uh, around 50% of the total participants among the galleries from the region. But when I say region, I'm including Istanbul and Turkey naturally, but also Balkan countries, uh, Black Sea countries, Caucasus countries, including Russia. Uh, and Iran and Middle East, Gulf region, and Northeast Africa is what we define as the region. So we really do uh, hard work and uh, to host galleries, leading galleries, contemporary leading galleries from these countries, from these re this region, to take place in contemporary Istanbul. So that means uh, we are local, but at the same time global. So the remaining 50%, the other 50% is from all around the world. Uh, naturally, majority comes from Europe and uh, also United States and this year China and Korea, Japan as well. Uh, some, yeah, a few galleries from Singapore and Malaysia. So uh, basically our aim uh, and our uh, structure is to be different than all the other art fairs on the world so that people visiting the fair, collectors collecting art or not collecting, just visiting, whatever, uh, will see a surprising and different art that they haven't seen in other art fairs on the world. That's, that's, that is why people should come and see the contemporary Istanbul. There are in some other cities of the world, there are more than two art fairs taking place at the same time, you know, sometimes seven, eight, sometimes like Miami, more, I think, I guess, like 15 or 14 art fairs taking place at the same time. So, but there is a market. So the question is, if, if, if there is a market, well, the market, well, this is taking place in this last three years. Before there was only contemporary Istanbul, now we're talking about two different art fairs. And the second one, Art International, is really pushing hard and doing their best to take place parallel to the biennial so that they attract people visiting the biennial. That's a strategy. We don't do it. Uh, we will not do it. We will ta always take place in November. Uh, but when, I, when you say if, if there is a market, maybe first year there isn't any, there is, the market is very weak for two art fairs. Second year, the market may be a bit uh, more productive. So art fairs are, we did the same. When, when, 10 years ago, we, you were not able to talk about any art market in Istanbul. There wasn't any market. Uh, there was only galleries, uh, exhibiting Turkish art, local art, and selling art to local collectors. We started bringing other galleries from other countries. And then slowly, slowly the market grow. grow uh, now we see that the market is totally different. And not only the market, the key players in the market, they change their mentality. For example, uh, artists, the main players, they even at their early stages, 
when they're young, they try to become international. They try to, be, to exhibit all, ar all around the world in uh, proper galleries or exhibition spaces. So their aim is not at the first day to make money, to you know, earn money and then you know, have a better life. No, they want to become an international artist. So uh, second, Turkish collectors, I remember very well they were talking about Ali, you know, we only buy local art. Seven years ago, six years ago. Now, same people. Believe me, same people. They go to all international art fairs. They, they visit the museums. They visit the galleries. They became very good friends with many galleries of the world and their customers. They became their customers. So basically, uh, and naturally, galleries in Istanbul also started, started to apply to international art fairs, to participate in international art fairs. Some are, are approved, some are not, or whatever, but they continue. Even the young galleries, first their first year, they want to become, an, they want to join the international art fairs uh, as much as possible. So people realize that, okay, the market can produce a local art, but it has to be international. So, uh, that, so the answer to your question is, yes, maybe it's a bit weak, but very soon Istanbul will be much different. Three new museums are coming now in, in the coming two years. Koch Museum, it's going to be maybe the strongest museum in Istanbul, Koch Contemporary. And then Demsa Museum, it's under, they are both under construction. The third one, which is now also under construction by architect Sinan University, Mimar Sinan University not next to Istanbul Modern. So I know that also that some collectors are looking for some venues and properties or, or some occasions buying land to build their, their museum. So uh, Istanbul, uh, Istanbul will be much different and much will, will, be, will take place like a hub and of, of, the, of the art world in the, in the near future. I, I don't find it 100% a financial asset. But it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a financial issue, it's a trade. Uh, at the end, you pay a certain amount of money to collect that artist's time, basically. That's, that artist spent to produce that artwork. Uh, but you cannot talk about a, that it's a financial asset, I believe. It shouldn't be, in my personal opinion. Uh, because I collect art and the way I collect art is, has nothing to do with the financial aspect of it. I don't consider, I do, but I, I hope that uh, that, it, that, that, it, the, that artwork will be much more valuable in the future. But uh, I don't take my decision depending on that aspect. So I always buy artworks of the living artists. And I personally try to become friends with them, or at least to meet them, whether it's a French artist or British artist or American artist or German artist or local artist, uh, and then, uh, or even if I purchase the artwork, I try to meet the artist later on, somehow, <laughs> somewhere on the world. So it's not only financial, I believe. Some people think that it's financial and they buy and sell, buy and sell, you know. Look at like look and f perceive it as a like a stock exchange, <laughs> which I don't agree. So I'm a collector, and uh, I was visiting the uh, the other art fairs on the world. I visited Art Art Basel, for example, Art Basel Basel. I think like 14 years ago, first, uh, and then I said, look, this is something missing in Istanbul to reach a healthy market in art an art market. So people should be able to see uh, different art uh, produced in different parts of the world other than the local one. And the people should be able to compare the, the quality of the artwork, the price of the artwork, you know, all, all, the, all these comparisons should be available in Istanbul. And that's the, that's the art fair. 
you, for in, in contemporary Istanbul, we are exhibiting approximately around 2,500 to 3,000 artworks in total uh, from all around the world. So this is a, and let me tell you one point. Last year, we had 80,000 visitors. And as I told you, there were the, the, the total number of artworks were only 2,500. So for a moment, let's assume that all of them are sold. And all of them are bought by different people. So we're talking about 2,500 people. They buy. So remaining 77,500, they visit. They learn. They try to become educated. They become, become more knowledgeable. And they try to learn about the, the artist, the artwork, the, the, the gallery. They, they meet the gallery. So it's an education process. And it, I think it's very important for the, the developing country like Turkey so that people come and visit, not only from the international market, also from the local market, and uh, become, feel more sympathy uh, towards art. And, and one day, they, they also purchase art.